All right, everyone, what's up? We're back here on the channel, and today I want to show you guys um, kind of a, a lesson or a little strategy I have for anchoring up on your fishing spots and your bottom fishing. And I'm also going to show you kind of like what you're looking for on your depth finder when you're at a spot, or if you're trying to find a new spot and don't really know what you're looking for. Um, but mainly, a lot of people have a big struggle with anchoring. And today I want to show you a video, kind of this basics on trying to anchor on your spot. And it's a really sim simple tactic. You don't really have to be an expert charter captain or an expert fisherman to know how to anchor on a spot. It's just really all logic and this picturing the boat and the spot in your mind. And I'm going to go through and show you the, the details about how to anchor. And let's get to it. Alright everyone. We're at our first spot, and so we just pulled up, and what I want to show you is on the chart, the first thing you want to do when anchoring on your spot is you want to get right up here close to the number. And what you want to do is you just want to kind of locate your spot, and usually when I pull up to a spot, I kind of like to, to get the boat to stop right on the spot, and since most times it's like you have a little bit of time where you want to get everything ready and you know, like get your bait ready and get the poles ready, I get the boat right up on a spot, put the boat in reverse to try to make it stop. Once you kind of, you'll get a feel the more you do this, but once you kind of feel the boat that is not moving anymore, you just want to start getting everything ready, get your poles ready. And um, get bait out and stuff, and let the boat drift for about give it about five minutes. Now to give you a real good idea of the direction of the drift. So right now we got the boat stopped, we're getting our stuff done, and we're gonna come back up here and look at the screen here in a couple minutes. drift for a few minutes and since we got a good strong wind we we're able to find out a good direction of the drift because the boat is you know the winds overpowering the boat and making it go one way so if you look right up on here we have we started our drift right here I got the boat real close to the number got it to stop moving and then this let the boat drift and now that we've we've made this path of where we have drifted the easiest thing to do is to not rely on this eyeballing it and saying i'm just going to go straight up from right here and kind of judge you're always going to be off it a little bit and if you want to get good and get accurate at landing the boat right on the spot when you go to anchor look at your numbers and what i mean by that is you come here and you look you don't want to touch the throttles you want to just keep the boat let it just keep doing this thing drifting and you want to get right up here and look at your course over ground or to just some gps's are different but you want to see where your heading is which what's your compass direction that you're moving in at the moment right now and right now it's bouncing around it was at perfectly north See how it was, it was at 355, now it's going back down. And it's going to bounce around like that because we're not moving too fast. And my best guess is it's not a perfect line straight north. So I'm going to say that we're moving more towards like a 355 degree heading. And that's what I'm going to base my anchor. So what I mean by that is this is your course to steer. This is the direction that you need like you need to go in order to get to this spot so what i do is i take this number and i want to get about probably about 
150 feet away from the barge and I use the distance down here to tell me how far I'm away. And then I want to get this number at 355 and right when it says 355, I want to try to hold the bow in that position and drop the anchor. And that way, whenever you drop your anchor right on that number, right at 355 and about 150 feet away, no matter if the boat kind of gets away or whatever, as long as the anchor hits the bottom in that spot, you're more than likely, once you tighten up your anchor, mm -hmm. you're gonna land right on the spot. Mm -hmm. So let's get over, and I'll show you how to get back over on where we're, we're gonna kinda anchor, and I'll demonstrate what I mean about getting up mm -hmm. past the spot and then making that course to steer 355 because that's our anchor drift. So let's get over here to it. Right now we're only in 20 feet of water and I'm letting out about, I put the boat about 200 feet away from the spot so I'm going to have about probably 220 feet of rope out just because it's at an angle. Um, but usually if it's a calmer day, since this boat's so big I put out a lot of line because the wind's howling right now and it's definitely going to have a lot of draw on the boat. So you want to have more line out and help your anchor set and especially if you want to get good at doing one-time anchor sets and not having to sit and keep redoing your anchor heading because you keep falling off your spot, put more than enough line out. That way, you know you're going to land on the spot and the anchor's not going to drag. So, we got the anchor out. We dropped it right here at 355. And what we're doing now is we're backing up and we're letting the boat kind of get near the spot. And usually once I get about 50 feet away from it, I'll start tightening up on that line, that way you can start setting into the ground. So right now we're about right now we're about 39 feet away from the spot. It looks far because we're so zoomed in. But what I'm doing now is I'm letting it get tight, and once it gets tight, I'll let out just a little bit probably to get us back onto the spot. Now we're cut, we cut it down to about 15 feet now. Now we're 10 feet. So we're very close, and once the boat kind of readjusts, we'll be inside probably 10 feet of the number. Put out a little bit more line. pretty accurate only eight feet is just literally a, a person's height almost away from the bell so most times that is very good about getting on top of the spot um, but now we have the luxury of you not having to drive around and every time you get up to the spot and the current pulls you away um, but this tactic I didn't really learn it from anybody I just kind of just 
pictured it out in my head when I was out here and just, just thought about it logically and it tends to work for me and the people I tend to teach it to it tends to work really well too it's less confusing than a lot of other ways a lot of people try to teach you how to anchor a bow and it's very effective so I hope you guys learned a lot and I hope that this video helps you catch more fish and thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more good content